Can you make puffy rotis with whole wheat flour just like you can make it from atta? Let's find out. You may think a flour is a flour, but the milling process between whole wheat flour and atta is quite different. Here, I'm comparing King Arthur brand whole wheat flour with Chakki Atta Lakshmi brand, both having similar amounts of protein, about 13.2%. For this experiment, I measured the same amount of flour, which is about 200 grams, and used a stand mixer at the same setting to bring the dough together. The whole wheat flour needed less water to come together as a dough, but as you can see, the atta flour flees very soft. Why is that? It's because of a concept called damaged starches. You see, the end goal of a whole wheat flour is to make wheat rise in breads. So they work very hard to limit the damaged starches to about 7%. It's made by passing the wheat through a series of metal rollers. Now the roti does puff. It is the work of gluten after all, but the taste is okay. I guess it's more like I'll eat it since it's healthy. Atta, on the other hand, is made from stone mills or chucky. You grind the heck out of it. You use compression, shear and abrasion forces between the two stones. Here the damage starches are higher at 15%. Thus, chapati made with atta is much more pliable and tasty than the hard, stiff rotis made with whole wheat flour. Conclusion, you can make rotis with whole wheat flour, but make sure to eat it hot hot because if you let it get cold, the difference gets very glaring.